Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my weekly um Dollar Tree haul. And I'm going to do it in categories. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you all the food items I picked up first. I picked up my staple, my pistachios. I like the roasted and salted. And I picked up a can of these seasoned collard greens by Margaret Holmes. I love her um vegetables, so I'm going to try the. I think I've tried them before and liked them, so I picked up a can of these. Picked up two things of Hunt's tomato ketchup. This is a 20 ounce. Picked up my husband two of the caramel iced latte um, chill coffee drinks. He likes the vanilla and the caramel. And I'm going to try these ranch style beagles. If you try them, let me know in the description box. So stay tuned for my beauty items and craft items. Okay, and if you didn't know, um, Dollar Tree has the um, disposable mask for kids. I picked up one pack of these. They come with two face masks, so I thought it would be great. I like to keep these in my vehicle in case my grandkids, you know, drop their mask or something. I'll have one readily available for them. So I picked a pack of those up. And, you know, I decorate badge holders, so I picked up these cute little stickers to use to decorate my badge holder. And they're Disney Junior. And the other craft item I picked up was this um, fine glitter. I really don't like the fine glitter, but I had to get this purple. So I picked up a thing of this. And plus, I can reuse this container. And I found this uh, Mermaid Reef um, Soy Blend Scented Candle. I like the packaging more than anything. I think that's mainly why I picked it up, but that's cute. I'll let you know if it has any throw for a dollar. And look what I found. The Himalay Himalayan Pink Bath Salt. 100% natural. Up to 84 minerals. It softens and heals cracked skin. Reduce swelling. Get rid of dead skin. Relax body. Cleanses while it eliminates odor. This product is an excellent exfoliating soap. Okay. So I thought that was great for one dollar. So yeah, I picked this up. I like the packaging. It's shaped like a um mason jar and has the um closed seal at the top. So I thought that was great for a dollar. I'm sure people are gonna be reselling these. But yeah, that's great for one dollar. All right, now my whole household items. I picked up two of these little um spoons. The little, um, what you call it? I forgot. Anyway, these little spoons to use when cooking because I have that um, Pioneer Woman cook set and I can't use um, metal utensils, so I picked these up, two of these. And I also picked up two packs of the, um, how many gallons is this? One gallon Ziploc bags. Picked up two of those. I picked up one of these shields for when I'm doing my craft, like when I'm outside sometimes and I don't have any gargles, so I'm going to use this um, face shield. And I picked up some of these, um, a six pack of these little cute rings. My daughter's getting married this year, so I just pick up little stuff like this, you know, in case we needed to decorate for her bridal shower or something. So I just thought these were cute. And I also picked up some shredded, some de decorative shreds for Valentine's Day. And I picked up one thing of the um, healthy paper plates. You get 20. I picked up some cups for when we use our mouthwash. And a six pack thing of these um, sponges. They soft on one side and you got the screw, screw up pad on the other side. I picked up a six pack of those. And I picked up these fertilizers because I love um, green house plants. So I picked these up. No, they're not milk or grow, but I'm going to try this brand. And last but not least, I finally found me a toolbox. If you, if you remember, I picked up some tools, some little quick little tools to keep in my craft room because it's a task trying to get my um, toolbox that's that um, I'll Toolbox that we use in the house of home repairs. You got to move so much stuff under the sink. 
And sometimes I just want to go straight to it. So I, I picked up this um, toolbox to keep in my craft room. Because, you know, sometimes you be lazy when you're doing a DIY. You just want to go and get it done. So I am a, um, I'm a little OCD. So I like to label everything. So I went ahead and printed out this label to put on here. So we won't get them mixed up. Well, the other one is red. We're going to get it mixed up anyway. But anyway, toolbox for my craft room. Let me show you some of the tools I picked up to go in the toolbox that are just for my craft room. Okay, I picked this little tool, this little tool up from the Dollar Tree. And it's very neat if I can get it open. Yeah. It's a screwdriver, but it has the different attachments. So you just put your attachment in there and just go to work. Then you got all these other gadgets. So yeah, I'll put that in there. Came from the Dollar Tree. And, well, I had a scalpel. And this little, um, I forgot what it's called. Anyway, a set of these. Okay, some tweezers and these two little small screwdrivers. All this came in a set for one dollar, so I thought that was great. So I'll keep this little toolbox in my craft room. So that's it. That's gonna conclude this video. Oh, yeah, don't forget to scan your receipt to Fetch Rewards. Yes, you can scan your receipt from Dollar Tree from Fetch Rewards, and Fetch Rewards is an app that allows you to scan receipts to redeem, redeem free gift cards and. Once you download it and enter my code, I'm going to put my code right here, you'll be given 2,000 points to get started, which is equivalent to $2, and then you'll be given a referral code to share with your family and friend. So thank you for watching.